aren't we all? Welcome to DPV. Uh, we're gonna do a little walk around on Neil Cody's 1970 Galaxy. He's here on the DPV underpowered tour. Um, and it is a pretty sweet ride. So, why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Well, I got it, it was headed to the scrapper. So it was right before we got to the scrapper, it only had two, two rims on it, no drivetrain. So I got this car in a T-boned F-150. And I put uh, all the F-150 Ford truck parts that's the drivetrain for this uh, body of this Galaxy. Sweet. And it's been super reliable and dependable. It's great gas mileage, 22 miles a gallon. 22 Actually, miles a gallon. I have no idea why it does so well. It just does. I do the Gambler 500 with it, so it's been on quite a few rallies with them. And uh, it's basically rallying through all the logging roads. Um, for close to 500 miles. Right on. Yeah. Let's uh, look under the hood. Sure. Still all stock F-150 EFI 305 or 302. Right on. Took the mass cylinder from the truck, the clutch cylinder from the truck. It has all the pedals from the truck. Um, the AC do or the. AC delete is the LT1 delete. The air horns, fun. Loud. Oh yeah. <laughs> cool. What do you got in the interior here? There's not much to the interior. Basically just comfy seats. It's really comfortable actually. Lots of space in there. Right on. The shifter's the top loader on the truck, so it's in the windshield. It's a bit of a reach, but it's actually not terrible. The instrument clusters on the console. It's out of the truck. It all works. Um, he's stock running. car parts? Yeah, yeah, these are all my race cars I had in the past. This is my first street stock car, so I was like, well, walking off the back seat with that baby. And this is off a late model I had. Built a road cage for 24 hours of lemons, uh, just in case I wanted to do the 24 hours of lemons race with it. I haven't put the down bars in yet. Okay. But, or the crossbars, but it's it's all there. It's like going off their specs. You got some big grips on this thing. Yeah. I got lucky Walmart um, for the whole 2020 COVID thing. They stopped working their uh, mechanical department. So they were selling rubber, but they weren't mounting them. So I got the tires cheaper from Walmart. So I was able to pick up a full set of tires from Walmart for 200 bucks. Nice. Here, show you my gas station gas tank situation, get the key out. Gas tank's out of the truck, plumbed into the original pickup for the car. Right on. You can tell it's a trail rig, because you got, you know. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta get rid of some logs there, yep. blocking the roads. Aren't we all? I have I have about 1200 bucks in this whole build. That is I mean, awesome. Sorry. Doing it as cheap as I could. Yeah. In the name of the Gambler 500. Yeah, name of the Gambler 500. They had a grill, but last year uh, I hit a deer going to the Bigfoot Backyard Gambler in Northern California, and I still did the Gambler, but I took out my whole grill. Oh yeah. So that's why it's a bit uglier now. It used <laughs> to be a little, little more looking. And then after that, I did the um, uh, Oregon Border Patrol Gambler. Oh cool. And that's why it goes to the uh, coast. So I didn't want to get it all rusty because I was sanding it down trying to, so I had to get some paint over the bare metal spot. Gotcha. Good, good, yeah, good see right here. Rust pretty quick Yeah. Here at the coast. All right, well, uh, thanks, Neil, for joining us on the DPV Underpower Tour. Yeah, it was fun. It was pretty fun. awesome. It was a good time. So, and the uh, car handled it awesome. Yeah, I was, I was really happy with the drag racing. I mean, it's not the fastest car out there, but it was, it was a lot of fun. Heck yeah. So uh, maybe we'll see you next year. Yeah. And I hope to see you uh, on a Gambler 500. We'll bring yeah. Bob. Yeah, Bob the Buick, so. All right, 70 Galaxy Gambler cars, pretty rad. Wheel it, wreck it, wrench it, repeat. See you next time.